If you were condemned for life for a murder you didn't commit, would you try to escape or survive? I'm Kyle Peck, and this is Cyrex Productions. If you like my film reviews and videos, please like and subscribe to Cyrex Productions. Or you can follow me at facebook.com slash Cyrex Productions. This rendition screenplay is based on the 1969 autobiographies of the French convict Henri Charrier, nicknamed Pepillon, which in French means butterfly and the 1973 film adaptation of the same name, starring Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman. But with leading stars Rami Malek and Charlie Hunnam this time around, and with it being a year since its initial release at the Toronto International Film Festival, will this film be able to be its own, even though it is familiar and it's been 40 plus years since its original release? Il est temps de découvrir ma critique de ce nouveau film, Pepillon. Pepillon is a biographical prison drama directed by Michael Knorr and stars actor Charlie Hunnam as Henri Charrier, a Frenchman who robbed bank safes that was wrongfully convicted of murder and condemned for life. And with the agreed protection of Rami Malek as the quirky former billionaire and counterfeiter Louis Dega, they work to finance Henri's escape in the penal colony of Devil's Island in French Guiana, South America. Because of its initial reveal as an independent film last year, as well as a faithful yet modern revision from the original 1973 film adaptation of the same name by Franklin J. Schaffner, there are way more visceral and severe material containing sex, nudity, violence, gore, and profanity, so audiences may find this film difficult to watch, even if certain viewers are familiar with the original adaptation. Regardless, this version of Pepillon evokes grim and dark moods of unrelenting horror and brutality, which works in terms of following this character-driven narrative with psychological exhaustion. Michael Knorr's direction is gritty and engaging enough, and while I personally have not yet seen the original film, the film's 130 minute runtime and emotional impact doesn't settle in very well, even by this current decade's film standards. Charlie Hunnam displays his character nicknamed Pepillon with fierce swagger and an awe-inspiring transformation within his stern presence, while Rami Malek makes a fine reserved and nuanced effort as his protection turned friend. Both of them find their place in life with solid, dynamic chemistry. The rest of the film's cast play their parts well enough to be notable standouts within the time they have to shine, but the narrative in itself has numerous B-plot holes that don't make sense, and the expectation in remaking a replica of a previously classic film is no mere feat. But fans of the 1973 version might overshadow this version. As a result, Pepillon is a solid remake, lifted by its stellar duo and violent story. And while it might be a familiar and subpar watch for veterans, newcomers might find it worth their time exploring an independent film of an already worthy classic, despite its long runtime. I give Pepillon 6 out of 10 stars. I'm Kyle Peck. Jusque la prochaine fois.